we have some updates. What's good? It's your boy Rico. Welcome back to another episode of Kairu Duel. Uh, this is going to be a rather short video, but we do have some updates I do want to discuss. But first, before we even do that, I want to do something that we that we used to do on the channel all the time when we booted up Pokemon Duel. And what was that? That was opening up boosters. So let's start today's episode opening up boosters, and then we're going to talk about uh, the quests. The end screen is fixed. You might see more quests in the future. Also, Sheninja. Sheninja, a figure that we have not even seen in Pokemon Duel, but I'm pretty sure has been in the game, is now released in the game. Well, the soft, it's, we're in the beta still, so anyway, and we're still testing it, but I want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on Sheninja. So, like I said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up with a booster. Let's see if we can get that metallic Dawn Wings or something that I have never opened yet. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Is that just a rare? Garbodor. Gar I don't even know what this thing can do. I, it came out like towards the end, right? And I, I, I never use it. I, I, what, does it have acid? Let's see. Let's take a look. Acid spray. Okay, so it has acid spray, gunk shot. Ooh, gunk shot 120. Poisons an opposing Pokemon within two steps. What the freak? Within two steps, nullifies effects. <laughs> I can't even remember. And it, oh. It nullifies the effects of one of the Pokemon in use non... Oh, non-Mega Illusion Plates. Okay. And Toxic Spikes. I mean, it's not necessarily a terrible figure, but not a great figure. And it looks like we have stars on purple. Dude, I've been out of the game for a while, so I haven't even played. Um, but let's... I want to show you guys, like I said, the... Uh, let's just go home. The quest, and then I want to talk about uh, Sheninja as a figure. And how well it would have done, I guess, when it should have came out. And what kind of figure I uh, compare it to. Alright, so let's go into the quest. You guys know the quests. Uh, I don't really want to go over all of this. <clears throat> Look at how the AI is. But AI is a little bit better. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. We have our hotels. Things are going to be ready. Are we ever going to finish? I don't think we can actually. But uh, let's go ahead and play. We are in the Ulix. And we're just going to skip through everything just so I can show you guys the battle or the the end screen. Because you don't you don't actually get to play. Uh, what Shudder did was just testing it. Uh, let's do this one. Battle and break through. So as he was testing everything with Pulse, right? Trying to figure out if uh, paralysis works. I don't know if they figured that out yet. But what's going to happen here is we're going to start the game. I'm already going to be on the goal. Actually, we're going to skip this. Uh, and if you guys do have the beta and you guys want to watch the actual cutscenes, or I guess these cutscenes, you totally can. But to my knowledge, what's going to happen is I'm just going to end on the goal right away, and it's just going to show the animations of the screens. And if you guys do remember, if you have been following my videos, we can't end the game because as soon as we end the game, it just it just soft locks. And then you'll see right here. Oh, what? Oh, okay. The last time I did this, I was just here, and it ended. This little jerk. He's really trying to play here. All right. All right. Yeah, get out of here. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. Here we go. Look, man. Oh, my God. I haven't heard this. Or seen this in so long. Level up. Look at that. Oh, we got our level up. Let's go next. Wait. Was there supposed to be anything here? Oh, my. When I was testing it, I didn't go. Th Yo, what? <laughs> we either get like. Coins are like a figure, right? Like Tyrogre or something like that. Tyro <laughs> Oh man, I would love to see like the other will with like the gems and the Carmenite and all of that stuff come into play. So wow, that's really cool. It's um nostalgic just to see and hear all of that. So I'm really excited for this project. I don't know what else or how soon they're gonna be accelerating things, but I did hear 
you know, they don't really have release dates, but they kept saying next year, next year, next year, next year. I don't know what that means, but we have seen some things. We have seen some progress. But all right, let's get into uh, what I promised, the Sheninja, because we haven't even seen Sheninja yet. Oh, and shout out, I want to say shout out to Rob. Rob has been killing it with the Pokemon Duel uh, updates, and his channel and his videos have just gone substantially better. So let's actually, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this down. We're gonna go here. Let's go take a look at Rob. We're just gonna look at the intro of the video. We've got a brand new figure coming to Pokemon Jewel that has never been seen before. I'm sorry, can we do that again? We've got a brand new figure coming to Pokemon Jewel that has never been seen before. Love the intro. What we already talked about. Robin, back with another Pokemon okay, Rob, I'm sorry. <laughs> energy. The energy is there. I love the energy. Where am I at? Okay, I'm right there. Okay, I love his energy. Like I said, I love his content. It's getting so much better. All right, let's take a look at Shininja here. Now, Shininja is a bug ghost. It does have the gaseous form ability. We know what gaseous form is because of um, Ghastly. And what it did was it, it can go through figures, but it can't be surrounded. So it's a 2 MP, has gaseous form, it can go through figures, can't be surrounded, can win the game, but cannot surround. Uh, look at the will. It's an uncommon, it has dig, it has dodge, and it has shadow sneak. It has a large miss. Now, here's my opinions on this figure. We had an Inkata in the game, I believe since launch. Uh, sorry, Rob, I'm like in your face. Let's move me like right over here. Okay. Um, so we had an Inkata in the game, I believe since launch. So I believe the they wanted to release a ninja, I don't know, like earlier in the game. Because if you see this figure, this figure is going to do absolutely nothing. Uh, where the game ended because of Pyro Keep and all that stuff. But I think where Shininja could have uh, thrived, to me, Shininja just looks like a Nebby. It looks exactly like a Nebby, but it has Dig instead of Teleport. Now, Dig is a... What is Dig? Is Dig a 1 MP or a 1 star purple? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me check real quick. Okay, so it looks like Dig is a 2 star purple. Now, imagine if you evolve, evolved uh, a Ninkata. Dig would be a 3 star purple kind of like teleport or exactly like teleport look how big the dig is i mean it's not that big it's most likely going to hit dodge but it does have dig if you chain this thing to 10 and you evolve how do you evolve ninkata now i believe ninkata it was like a magic carp right but it was one mp so that was that's the downfall there but if you do evolve it, it's three star dig or teleport it, which allows you i wouldn't say i mean okay it doesn't allow you to do the same thing as teleport does but it allows you to you know you can move this Pokemon to an opponent or to an open spot next to an adjacent figure. So if there's figures connected, it can just go through that line. So you could see some cheesy things. Uh, people are going to be forced to cover up goal, as Pokefather would say. Number one goal or number one rule when you're playing Nebby, you have to cover up goal. You're going to have to cover up goal because Shininja can can I, I, essentially I won't say rush, but it can it it has good mobility because it can move through you. And it has dig. It has the dodge, which is the downfall. This thing is pretty. I don't know. Z moves are. Uh, I think Z moves would be annoying against this thing. But I also want to talk about Rob is saying that they're trying to make this thing three MP. They're going to make this three MP and a rare figure, opposed to uncommon two MP. Now, do you guys think that that it should? Because when we get this game back, is this figure even going to be usable with how the game ended? No, I don't think it is. And I fa in fact, I think this figure would be good at the beginning of Pokemon Duel, just with, like I said, before we had Nebby, this would have been like the poor man's Nebby, or the figure that kind of showed how Nebby worked before Nebby worked. Um, but in today's era, or I guess where the game ended, I don't think Sininja would be uh, usable. So for them to make it, or, I mean, I don't, the rare, I don't think really matters, but to make it a 3 MP, I do agree with it. I, I didn't like it at first, but now that I, now that I'm thinking about it, I do agree with it. But you're gonna have to evolve this thing just to 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 to, to deal with like Dawn Wings because Dawn Wings has what two star purple, so you would have to evolve Shininja. It'd be three MP, which would be really solid, and it would have a three star uh, purple. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Shininja. Um, as it stands, it could have been decent early on in Pokemon Duel. As it stands now, it is I would say trash. Uh, but if they give it a 3MP, 
it might have some usability could be used as a runner but i don't know i don't know anyway this video is getting a little too long i did not anticipate it being this long so let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about shininja and how excited you are about pokemon duel coming back through kairu depths all right until then ladies and gentlemen as always peace